The third and sixth terms of a geometric progression, a GP, are 1 over 4 and 1 over 32, respectively. We are to find the first term and the common ratio, and we are to also find the seventh term. Now, for a GP, the nth term is generally given as A R raised to the power n minus 1, where A is the first term and R is the common ratio of the geometric progression. So, for this particular question, we are told that the third term, that will be T3, which already we have been given as A R n minus 1, but instead of n, now we say it is 3, okay, 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. We are told that that first third term is 1 over 4. That's the first statement in the question, okay? So, um, we can call this equation 1, and if we also continue with the other sixth term, we're told that the sixth term is also um, a r raised to the power 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. We are giving that to be 1 over 32. So, if we call this equation 2, we can look for a way to solve these two equations. And looking at them, the best bet for us is to just divide equation one equation two by one or equation one by two anyone that is convenient here yeah, i'll be using equation two divided by one so that will be a r raised to the power five divided by a r raised to the power two for the left hand side then one over 32 divided by one over four on the right hand side the a's we cut out so here yeah, we have r raised to the power five divided by r raised to the power two is equal to one over 32 divided by 1 over 4. I'm writing it in this way so that it can be easy for me to solve. Using the laws of indices, r raised to power 5 divided by r raised to power 2, we can just take one of the r and subtract the powers. So we have r raised to power 3 is 1 over 8 and that is the what we are going to try and solve now. That r raised to power 3 is 1 over 8. So we can say r is the cube root of 1 over 8. All right, or instead of saying one over eight, we know one over eight is two raised to the power three, so we can say r is the cube root of one over two raised to the power three. And of course, the threes can cut out so that our r, the common ratio, is one over two. So for us to now get the first term, we also get the first term and the common ratio. That is a common ratio. We can take any of the two equations that we got initially, substitute for the value of r so that we can get. The first term. So if we use the equation 1, a r raised to the power 2 is equal to 1 over 4. So instead of r, we have 1 over 2 raised to the power 2 is 1 over 4. Now 1 over 2 raised to the power 2 is 1 over 4. And that means those 1 over 4s will cut out and a will be gotten to be 1. So the first term is 1. The first term a is 1. And then the common ratio r we got that to be 1 over 2. All right. Now, that's not the end of the question. We also have to find the seventh term. Using the general formula that we have gotten initially, the general formula for the nth term, that's Tn is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1. Since we know a, the first term, and we also know r, the common ratio, we can find the seventh term. Okay? So, the seventh term, we have to go ahead with that. We can say it will be T7 is equal to A R raised to the power 7 minus 1. So 7 in the place of N, then we know our first term A and the common ratio R, such that T7 will be 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 raised to the power 7 minus 1 is 6. So that's raised to the power 6. So this is 1 over 2 raised to the power 6. 2 raised to the power 6 is 2 in 6 places. So if you want to use the calculator for that, 2 raised to the power 6, that's 64. So the seventh term for this geometric progression is 64. And that is all there is to this question.